Alan Tobago, it's good to be back with you. We have a something brewing, basically, and it's brewing across the Caribbean. And the question people are asking is, Shensia suitable to promote a brand to children, which is a sunshine brand? Lots of snacks, other kids enjoy them each day. So the persons are asking her right across the Caribbean, people are critiquing her based on her songs. Is she a suitable person to promote the brand to children? I mean, she's a versatile artist. She has some good songs. She has some songs that people describe as raunchy and stuff like that. But companies are not looking at whether people have morals or not. Companies are looking to make money and they're looking for the biggest reach possible. What is the biggest reach possible? The biggest market where uh, the person who is the brand ambassador has millions of fans and hundreds of millions of fans. So that's their bottom line, making money. But the question is, is she a suitable person to promote a brand to children based on her songs that she has, right? You can leave the comments in the section below. Let me know what you're thinking about. There is a story in the Newsday TT, and it says that um, despite social media criticism of Sunshine Snack selecting Dance Alati Shensia as its newest brand ambassador, Deputy Chairman and CEO of the Associated Brands Group, Nicholas Jack, defended it, saying her charitable efforts during the hurricane barrel played a pivotal role in the company's decision. In a phone interview with Newsday on October 4th, Jack said Shensia's commitment to giving back to our home country, Jamaica, aligns with the brand's values. On September the 25th, the company said Shensia and her eight-year-old son will be the brand's regional ambassador, right? On July 1, the Category 4 hurricane devastated part of Jamaica, of course, and you know. After the hurricane hit Jamaica, Shensia returned to her hometown of St. Elizabeth to assist those severely affected. Accompanied by her son, she distributed tarpaulins and food packages and stuff like that. So the company is saying, look, we really don't care if you think about morals per se. With our bottom line is money. And she did a good job during the aftermath of burial. And that is the reason why we're choosing her to be a brand ambassador. So is the company wrong for choosing Shensia as brand ambassador to promote products really that children mostly consume more than anybody else? And because of her songs, does that disqualify her? Because there's a school of thought saying, look, I really don't think that she should be the brand ambassador based on her songs. And others are saying, look, She's not going to be singing in the nude for children. Those are just videos. So what is the point? She's not going to be on the, the Kong Curls or whatever Snack Sunshine produces in a bikini and stuff like that. So why are we making a big hype over it? That's what the school of thought is saying. And then some of the school of thought are saying, well, look, somebody who's going to promote stuff that children are mostly going to consume, they're going to look for her. Kids go online these days every, by the second. And they're going to look for her and say, oh, here's our brand ambassador. When they look at her and look at what she's saying and some of the videos that she's doing, they're going to say, well, oh, okay. So do you think that that's fine? But let's know. Leave your comment in the section below and let's hear what you have to say about it because this is what's trending across the Caribbean right now. There's another school of thought that, look, it's time that we Caribbean people really big up Caribbean people because Sunshine could have gone and asked somebody from the United States, from the UK, and whenever they take someone from the Caribbean, why are we always fighting down our own Caribbean people? That's a school I've taught out there right now. As Shensia becomes brand ambassador for Sunshine Snacks, as a lot of children consume, one school of thought is saying that, no, her song doesn't make her fit to be brand ambassador. Another school of thought says, look, she can be brand ambassador. Another school of thought said, why are we pulling down our own Caribbean people every time? Sunshine could have gone to Europe, the US, and look for somebody who's popular and bring them to it, but they decided to take someone from the Caribbean. So really and truly, why are we doing this to our own people? And so Trinidad and Tobago Sunshine Snacks has signed Jamaican dancer artist and social media content creator Shensia and our eight-year-old son as brand ambassadors for the popular snacks. However, some are criticizing Associated Brands, the parent company of Sunshine Snacks, for choosing Shensia, saying her songs make her unsuitable to promote the brand to children. Sunshine Snacks launched in 1977, made the announcement at the AC Hotel in Kingston, Jamaica, on September 25th. So a lot of people have been criticizing her. The mother and the son duo, who boasts a collective near 8 million Instagram followers, 
will become the face of the brand not only in our home country but also Barbados, Guyana and TNT. And when Shensia was speaking at the launch, she said she viewed this as an authentic collaboration as she recalled her brand being a part of her childhood. So there you have it. So leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what you think about it. And let's continue this discussion across the Caribbean. Is she good to be brand ambassador? Is she bad to be brand ambassador? Would it spoil Sunshine's reputation? Leave your comments in the section below.